Okay, grade two, this is your grammar video. Um, this is a game that you are going to play about plurals. But unfortunately, this is not an activity that I can do with you. I can ex I'm going to explain it to you now, step by step, um, and maybe give you a few examples. But this is an activity that you are going to have to do by yourself. Okay, I cannot help you with this one because I can't determine where you spell. So, okay, what you are going to need is a pencil, your great pencil, your workbook, I have mine right here, your ruler obviously, here's my ruler, and then something, okay, wait, something to spin with. I'm going to use this pencil to spin with and something to put or to bounce on the words. So I'm putting my mouse at start. This is one of my cat's toys just so by the way. Okay. So let's start the game. I hope you have everything with you. I think before we start maybe we can do this. Take your workbook. And then at the top, make your first minky monkey and write today's date, 20 May 2020. Again, no heading is necessary. It's only this and the reading that's going to be in the workbook for this entire week. Or oh. the week is finished today. Wow. Okay, you guys, this is our last day. So, what you can do so long is write that in your workbook and then just keep it to the side. Now you are going to need your spinner. So, let's look at the rules that they explained to us here at the bottom. I want you to try and read it with me. So, it says, make it plural, number one. Spin the spinner. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, that's a horrible spin message. This is just me showing you how to do it. Okay, so it landed like... Okay, wait, let me do it once more. Okay, it landed on the four. I'm going to choose this side. It landed on the four. Now let's see what should we do next. Number two. Move your marker the amount of spaces shown on the spinner. Okay, this is my marker and my spinner shows four. So I go one, two, three, four. And I landed here. I'm, I'm going to put the mouse's nose there. Number three, read the word on the space you landed on and change it to plural form. I quickly want you guys to think about this one before I answer it. Read that word. Enemy. Enemy. It means someone who's not my friend. They are my enemy. Okay. Now they are asking me to change it to the plural form. But now I have to go back and think about my rules. What were the rules? If a word ends in a year, what are the rules? There's something that you must look at. If a word ends in a year, you must look at the one before it. If it is a consonant, it becomes e a. If it is a vowel, like a a e o and a, it is a. Um, it just gets a s. So now, number four, record both the singular and plural form on your recording sheet. Now, this book is going to be your recording sheet. So what you do now is fold your page in half. Okay. Make your x and make your minky monkey. Then we are going to write our headings for this game. And we are going to have to need two columns. We need the one column where the singular form of the word is going to be written so when there's only one and on the other side we are going to need our plural form when there, when there is more than one so we are drawing our line underneath the tail of our minky monkey and then ooh, and then I'm writing my first word I'm going to put a one next to it so that I can track my game so Enemy is the word that they gave me. I must change it to enemies. And I know my rule. 
if it ends in a y, but the letter in front is a consonant, it becomes an e a s. So there's my answer. Enemy becomes enemies. Good. Grade two, please don't write down enemy and enemies. You are going to play your own game. Oh, all you had to write down now in your workbook so far is 20 May 2020 and then sing singular and plural. You don't write any of the words down yet. You are going to go play your own game. Okay. I get to spin again and it lands on the one. See, I'm taking where this ends. So it ended on one, so I just skip one to the side. What is my new word? The new word is dear. I now have to write the plural form of dear. But I remember that on the one worksheet with Miss Exhibit, she talked about deer and she said that it is the same as sheep and fish, which means one deer, many deer. Deer stays exactly the same. Good, I've done my second one. Now I spin again. Okay, let's say that landed on three. <laughs> So we were at deer, now we are hopping three times. One, two, three. Person. Person. Oh, we never did this one and this is actually a great one. Person. So the third word that I got was person. Now, our normal rule, if we think about our rules, our normal rule would say um, any word that ends in a consonant um, that is not s, curly k, z, ch, sh, or x gets just a s. But person is one of those words that changes into a totally different word. Like child becomes children, ox becomes oxen. Um, people, pl oh, please, person does not become person in. That's not where I'm headed with this. I'm just trying to give examples of some words that entirely change, and person is one of them. Uh, I have heard of them on the TV or something say persons of interest, but persons is not what I would recommend you to use because normally, normally, if you were talking in a normal situation, you would say, one person, many people. People. Okay, I actually, let's pretend I was here and I, and I spun, okay, four. One, two, three, four. We are at bike. Bike just becomes bikes. If you get to the middle, it says lose a turn. Now, you are not playing against somebody. If you want, what would make this so much more fun, if you have a brother or sister who would like to play this with you, that would be amazing, because then you just record yours in your book. Um, your brother or your sister can record theirs on their own book, books if they want, or on their own pieces of paper, but I want yours, grade two, those kids that are in my class. I want you to record yours, but if your brother or your sister is playing with you, it's going to make it so much more fun. So remember your plural rules, they are very important. Okay, you are going to need them next week as well. So remember your plural rules. Um, if you need those papers back um, that tell you about the rules of plurals, please let me know if you want them back to study them or to look at them again. I will send them back to you happily. I have no problem with that. Um, please just have mommy or daddy let me know then. Um, and then enjoy this game. Obviously, when you get to finish, you are finished, but you actually don't have to stop playing. I think this is really fun, and I think it's very, a uh, very neat way to teach you guys plurals. So thank you, Internet, and thank you, Grade 2. Enjoy your game.